So this is part two of my perfume collection. Last time I did gourmands and uh, spices. And this time it's going to be woods, uh, incense, leather and uh, more woods, basically. <laughs> this is my favorite category, basically. And I wear woods a lot and I love ouds and deep perfumes. So this is going to be one of my favorites. And uh, I'm going to do two more videos. So check back on my channel to see the other two. And if you want to see more about what's happening in my life right now, it's insta at just.joe. Joe with, um, not a G, a, a J, a G, and one L. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to link it below. Anyways, so let's just get into it because that's why you're here. And let's start with one of my favorite brands. It's Ephemera by Unsound. And this is base. They have three scents and I love them all. And they're coming up with new ones. So I'm really excited for that. And this one is a wood leather scent. Mmm, it's just so, it's such a yummy scent because it's just a very, very deep wood without being harsh. Mmm, I love this one. And I hope this plant thing doesn't bother you. I'm trying because I can't do anything fun with my background, so I'm trying. And here we have one that is woods and uh, incense, but this one, Rien, 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 <laughs> from uh, Etat Libre d'Orange. I love saying things with an accent, even though I'm probably just butchering it. But anyways, this one I really like. But they are known for making very peculiar, strange scents. So this one is like um, a wood incense thing on steroids. So basically, this one you get, you take one spritz. <clears throat> Sorry, I just filmed another video. So my voice is going... Uh... <coughs> I'm not used to talking this much. I'm basically mostly at home, lying on the couch alone. So. And that's my water thingy. Uh, anyways, so this one is one of those perfumes that is just bam, you know, s smack you in the face with everything. So uh, it depends on what you like. If you are more traditional, buying, you know, main, main street, high street, main street perfumes, then you probably won't like this one because I have a problem using it because I think it's too too strong and too peculiar but it is really really nice and if you want something that is special that you will really like people will really notice then this one is a good one getting into incense i have the pure incense from tower Ville, and this is incense flash i haven't been able to try this one out much because i just got it but it's a very nice pure incense and it's quite strong and very, I don't know how to say that, but just very, very pure because it is just one note basically. And uh, so you get, if you like incense, you get really just that and you don't have to worry about is it woody, is it sweet, is it, you know, you, you just get the incense. So this is very nice and I look forward to trying this more. And then we have Shambu Shambu from Byredo. You all know I love Byredo. It's one of my favorite brands. This one, I've almost used it up. Um, it's a good one when you want something like incense woody, but you don't want something very strong because this is just very light and very fresh. So this is like, if you wanted to try incense scents, but you don't want to just dive right in, I would say this is a very nice one because it's it's just very airy and um, it's more like you have the incense far, far away from you and you have a little bit of the woods and spices and just a tiny bit. I'm sorry if you hear the cars. We live off of a road and sometimes the big trucks and stuff go by. Hope you can see me. <coughs> so, and next, this is my all-time favorite perfume, but, and this is a big but, 
they changed the formula. So I have this one bottle left and it's the old formula of Accord Oud from Byredo. I had to hunt this down and this I, I'm so careful with because it's literally I think six or seven years old or something but it's been kept well so perfumes can last a long time if you keep them well. If you don't know how always make sure they are cool, make sure the temperature is not fluctuating and make sure they are in a dark place and they will last you a long time. This is the perfume, like if I'm having a really stressful day, if I'm having anxiety, which I deal with a lot, I spray this and it's just like, it's just, it just calms me down. It's just like a big hug. So I don't know what I will do when I'm out of this last bottle. It's just so wonderful and they changed it. And to some people, it might not be a big difference because it does smell quite similar to this, but I have a problem with some of these um, wood scents going sour on my skin and that is what the new one does. I get basically the scent but with an added kind of you know sour dish rag thing that I really hate so I don't like the new version I'm sorry by Rido but you should never have changed this because this was the most amazing perfume in the world. And then I have two perfumes from Mandy to Rosa, I hope I'm saying this right. Uh, these are the new two scents. I have South and North. South is a quite woody, fresh scent, but mostly it's nutty on me. So you get a lot of kind of sweet nuts. I'm not saying sweet like candy-ish sweet, but, but, but if you think nutty and a little bit sweeter with some woods in the background, and actually some some bread tones and some spices as well so this um, I'm looking forward to trying it more these are very very strong perfumes and they have some very nice ones uh, so these two are the new ones from their range and north is supposed to smell more more like Swedish sauna I really do like this one the only thing I would say I'm kind of disappointed in is that it has mostly cedar notes and neither Swedish or Finnish saunas where where saunas came from do they mostly don't consist of cedar um, I think they have we have fur <laughs> not fur like the the tree fur you know like Christmas trees uh, we mostly have that in our saunas I think and uh, they mostly have um, uh, alder I think it's called so uh, there there are saunas with cedar but basically that is a newer thing because cedar is not grown in Sweden or Finland as what I know so I'm a little bit disappointed because they did not really get the north thing right but it's still a really really lovely scent it's a very just thick heavy cedar so if you like that type of scent this is very nice I've already been talking for eight minutes <laughs> I only have two perfumes left so uh, I have a Tom Ford Oud Wood the Tom Ford scent in this um, I don't know if it's called a Privé line or I don't know what this line but the, the fancier Tom Ford line I really do like a lot of these ones and I would like to have the Oh no, I can't think of what it is. There's another woody one that I think is wood leather or something like that. This one, um, I don't know, but it's, it's a really lovely scent, but I'm kind of disappointed. And that's just a personal thing because on me, it gets that tiny sour note. So I smell it on other people or, or on a paper something. And it's just the best scent in the world so on a lot of people this is lovely on me it goes a little bit sour so I haven't been using it that much I think maybe I will let my husband use this one but it's very very nice and it's not too heavy it's more of the fresher type of wood scent so this I think would work on a lot of people and all of my scents basically are unisex and these are scents that um, at least these ones and the ones that I've talked about before the gourmands and spices definitely work on a man or a woman 
I think some of the flower scents might be more for women, but really I don't I don't think you should care about that. I like some scents that are basically for men because I do like my heavy woods and incenses. Incenses. <laughs> and um, I know some guys that can pull off really sweet or really flowery scents. So just don't care about that. But anyways, this one is nice, but not really on me. And the last one I have is I Love New York, the white one. And this one, it goes in woods, but really it doesn't smell anything like wood for me because it's supposed to smell like cashmere wood. I don't really know what cashmere wood is. Is that a real thing or is it just a kind of scent description? But this is so lovely. It's so light and just, it's sweet. It kind of almost reminds me of a floral scent, even though it doesn't smell floral, if you understand what that means. It is kind of like cashmere, just warm, soft sweater, um, sweet scent. So this is really, really nice. And I think I've used a, quite a bit of it. I can't really see. Um, the Bond fragrances I really want to love, but I think that a lot of them are a little bit weird on me, but this one I really fell in love with. So I've been talking, <laughs> talking, talking for, for like 12 minutes now. So I'm gonna let you go and please watch the other parts of my perfume collection video thing. And come join me on Instagram and let me know if there's any other videos that you would like me to do. And if you do want a specific review of any of these, just let me know because I can do that obviously. But also check my channel uh, further back because I have done um, specific reviews on a lot of these things. So thanks for watching guys. Have a good day. Bye.